Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Sorry for the sort of a Christmas vibe to the whole video. I don't really know how to decorate for Thanksgiving. I mean, I even put on the sweet Zelda Christmas sweater for what it's worth. Thanksgiving is literally the greatest holiday of all time. You just get to eat a lot of food, hang out with your friends and your family, and tell them you appreciate it. And unlike Christmas, telling people you like them on Thanksgiving is free. So to celebrate this incredible holiday, I wanted to do a Thanksgiving food tier list. Something that's probably got about five people shot in the Midwest. I was also a bit of a, uh, a chunk of lunk as a child, so I feel like I'm a good authority on food. Uh, really quick before we get into this, there's a lot of people in this country that aren't fortunate enough to have food on the table at Thanksgiving. And I know it won't help a lot, but I did put in some research just to find a good food pantry charity that's safe to donate to and you know legitimate there's a link for that down in the description below clearly you don't have to donate but if you did you never know who you might help all right anyways on to the totally non-controversial list all right starting off we have turkey you don't eat two servings of turkey at dinner you're either a vegan or you get full after one plate whatever you have ham or turkey i don't care seconds every day of the week it's literally like the centerfold of your thanksgiving dinner turkey is incredible not a big white meat fan personally that's usually like what gets left over in the leftover bin all the dark meat off of turkey though pumpkin pie. A good pumpkin pie could definitely hit a great. You're not going to get seconds of that. I don't know when I get to dessert. I'm going to eat enough dinner that I don't have to eat dessert. If I have more room in my stomach, I'm eating more turkey or stuff. Apple pie for me, I know is going to make a lot of people mad and I don't care how good your grandma's apple pie is that I need to try. Just a maybe. I'm not going to say a hard pass, but I'm not a big apple pie guy really in any way, shape. Even like the really good little McDonald's pies. I just don't like apple pie. I don't like fresh apple pie. I don't really like apple dumplings. Just biscuits are absolutely elite. I, you could probably screw up biscuits in any way that you want. I will eat them over and over and over. Any Anything that's that flaky with butter that you can dip into gravy, just... I, Brussels sprouts are a maybe. Out of my long 22 years of existence, I have had one person make Brussels sprouts that I've been able to eat some. Brussels sprouts just leave like a flavor of cat piss in your mouth. Squash? I've never had squash, and even if it were offered to me, I don't think I would eat it. I'm not gonna lie. Unless it's like that really good hibachi grill squash, that's different, but if it's anything like this picture suggests, you have turkey, you have biscuits, you have literally anything else on here, and then you have- then you have the squash. It looks like it has- just an anus. What is that? Joe Cranberry Elite. I will get seconds of this. Of course, I prefer homemade. You don't like cranberry sauce because you're afraid of the wiggle. Like, I, I know it's like weird to eat something that literally forms to the can that you eat it out of. Cranberry sauce on stuffing, on your rolls, on your turkey, your mashed potatoes, or it all just blends together in the middle. It's 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 amazing. So many people don't like cranberry sauce. I don't, I don't get it. You eat fruit snacks, just healthier fruit snacks. Green bean casserole is just okay. I'm not a big green bean fan personally, but when you put cream of mushroom and crispy onions into something, it's you could probably put like poop in that and be like, oh, you know what? There's crispy onions on it. Cornbread. I've never personally had cornbread at Thanksgiving and I'm not a big cornbread guy. It's just kind of not a good flaky. Biscuits are a good flaky. Cornbread is kind of like a crumbling, annoying cousin to chili. I, I look at cornbread and I just think of Campbell's chili. It's not that great. Corn. It's great. Probably I'll go for seconds. Kind of like one of those things that you just get one of to not be mean to the person that made it. I have corn at least 17 times throughout the entire year. I'm going to go like on my second time around, I'm going to go for the necessities again. Corn is not a necessity. Oh, hey, cranberry sauce. Real cranberry sauce. I like them both. Both cranberry and jelly cranberry are amazing, in my opinion. I think they taste good. No, like, by itself, I'm not gonna sit there and just, you know, just swabble dwarf some cranberry sauce. It has to be with stuff, but cranberry sauce is elite. I mean, like, maybe once you get past the age of 15, at least. When they say cream corn, if they don't just, you know, mean the baby vomit that you get out of the can from Jolly Green Giant. If this is, like, the corn pudding that my family makes, the stuff is really good. I usually don't go for seconds. It kind of competes with stuffing, and I don't care if Tom Brady walks into my house and says, hey, you can go throw football with me outside for five minutes or eat more stuffing. I'm eating stuffing. It's no offense to, it's no offense to cream corn. It's just, I'm going back in for seconds. It has to be the stuff that I really care about because usually like the first plate, it's a combination of like everything, right? You got everything from a table in there. But your seconds, your seconds is when you just say, I don't care about your feelings anymore. I'm eating what I want. And that's when you just put like the three things that you like. You just fill up a plate and just become obese in five minutes, pass out on the couch while everyone complains that you took all the food. Dinner rolls, who doesn't eat like 700? It goes It goes with the biscuits. Literally dinner rolls. You just eat, you eat, you eat, you eat. You carb load like you're running a marathon, except you're going to go shit your pants and fall asleep while watching the lines lose. It's awesome. Gravy, just literally pour. Like, you just make a plate and just gravy. Gravy everywhere. Gravy on Thanksgiving food is a must. If you don't like gravy, I don't know what to tell you. For that really awful, like, turkey gravy, I want to find a picture of that. I looked up shitty gravy. <laughs> I mean, KFC gravy came up, and I'm not gonna lie, I, that, that, that's fair. Like, this stuff, like, that light color, no flavor having stuff that they serve you at school. This. This plate of Thanksgiving food looks like trash. It's like this turkey that looks like it has flavoring, but all this right here, that literally looks like paper. Just average gravy. Sorry, this looks off. Literally, turkey gravy is trash. So, when we say gravy, I mean, 
mean, beef gravy is amazing. I guess if it's turkey gravy, you eat it to be polite, and you still kind of treat it like beef gravy, but you just don't enjoy it. Ham, God tier. Personally, my family's always made turkey, but I've been to families' houses who do, who do make ham and turkey, and I I love ham. Like turkey's really good, but just because I have it mostly once a year, you know, turkey can be dry, but ham is just good. If you make a good ham, every piece of the ham is good. Not every part of a turkey is good. It, you get, the white meat can be pretty bad. If you overcook it, it's pretty trash. Ham, if you just put ginger ale and brown sugar, pineapple will still eat up pineapples across the top of it, make it in a crock pot. You can't mess it up. You just can't mess it up. Turkey, you literally have to fist it just for the chance for it to come out dry and off. So, I mean, personally, when it comes to Thanksgiving, I would rather have turkey. Ham is sort of a Christmas dish, but ham's pretty goaded. I'll, I'll eat it. If you have it, I'm eating it. The debate recently about mac and cheese being a Thanksgiving food is what made me realize some people have it on Thanksgiving. I've never been to a house that's had mac and cheese on Thanksgiving. Don't get me wrong. I love macaroni and cheese, but I don't see it as a Thanksgiving food. I probably wouldn't go back for seconds of that. To be entirely honest with you, now I don't I don't care how good your mom's mac and cheese is, or your dad's mac and cheese. Maybe your great uncle Bill. Unless God himself crafted me a bowl of mac and cheese, I don't think I would get it for seconds. I could have it all the other time of the year. Thanksgiving dinner only happens once, and I need the best and most special and unique foods to be on that second split. Mashed potatoes? I've had good mashed potatoes. Don't get me wrong. It's just, they just don't do it for me. They are kind of just a vessel for gravy, to be entirely honest. They're good, but that's the issue. They're just good. I mean, like, you could have, like, chives and cheddar in them, and it makes it good. A lot of butter makes them pretty good, but like I said, it's one of those things you just get, like, a little portion of to make to make your aunt not feel so bad about her mashed potatoes. It's not her fault. Don't like mashed potatoes. Now, if you are of legal drinking age, you always have seconds of wine. You're not just gonna be parched the rest of the time. Roasted vegetables? I personally haven't ever been to a house that's had roasted vegetables, but I don't know. No, actually, you know what? No, hard pass. Sorry. When I think of roasted vegetables, I think of, like, the potato and carrots that you make with a roast, and they just always have no flavor. You bite into it, and if there is flavor, it lasts for about three seconds, and you're just chewing through four inches of potato. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like a step up from raw. You have raw carrots and raw potatoes, and just make them a little bit more gushy and put beef around it. What the hell does that say? It's scalloped. Scalloped potatoes? Uh, they're pretty goaded, depending on where you have it. Now, if they're, like, generic, eh, where it's just kind of creamy with not a whole lot of flavor, but if you get, like, the good scalloped potatoes with the little crispy layer of cheese on top, then I would literally kill a man for sparkling. Same thing as wine. Delicious. All right, stuffing. This holiday wouldn't exist for me without stuff. Uh, you can make crappy box stuffing. You can, for you can forget to add gravy and a base to it in the oven and just make crunchy bread layer. I love stuff. It's so depressing that we eat this once a year, maybe twice at, at Christmas. And if you put cranberries in it, you might get me going a little bit. If you don't like stuffing, you're stupid. Sweet potato casserole? I don't I don't like sweet potatoes. I can have about a bite of it and it sort of just makes me sick. One of the, that's, I think that might be the most unpopular opinion that I have, but sweet potato casserole is just too much and I don't like it. Potatoes are meant to be salty, fried, and in tot and or fry form. Or baked potato, I guess. But sweet potato casserole just doesn't cut it for me. I think that might be what gets me shot in the Midwest. So if I ever go out to Minnesota, I expect to catch a clap. Not like that clap. So yeah, that's my Thanksgiving tier list. I'm sure that isn't controversial at all. Before this video ends, I want to take a second and say, you know, I appreciate all of you guys who've been watching my videos lately. Like I said, there's a link down below for a food pantry charity if you can give. I'm also going to put this tier maker down in the description if you guys want to make it and send it to me on Twitter. The link's down in the description for that down below as well. Or if you want to join my Discord, send it to me in the Discord. That link's down there too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible day. Enjoy your food, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with whatever I have brewed up by then. See ya.